Hey everybody, Fabian's Media Corner 2001. Today I got VHS and DVD update for all of you on August 31st, 2020, since it's midnight where I am. As y'all could see, of course. There. In this update, I have 9 VHS tapes and. nine DVDs to show. So, uh, Saturday I went to Midland, Texas, which I was only able to go to one story, which was Goodwill, and from there I picked up ABHS tapes and one DVD, and then I got some of my stuff from eBay. Also on Saturday, another VHS tape and five DVDs. And also, I got three more DVDs from Dollar General on uh, August 26th. <clears throat> so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. Let me get this stuff out of the way so I could uh, have some room. Actually, before we begin, um, if y'all remember this tape right here, I'm going to show y'all the content contents of it. I'm not going to read them, but pause if you want to read this content. So that's that. Now then, to the actual update for real this time. If I can even get this back in. Okay, right then, here we go. Three clamshells. There is another kind of vanity that is from Columbia Pictures, which I'm gonna have to get that someday. Cause this is not the same movie, it's a different movie. Two print dates, April 24th, 2001, and June 6th, 2001. <coughs> Excuse me there. <coughs> May 17th, 1996 is the print date. And last clamshell. The 29th week of 1995. Now the label says 1994, but the case is 1995, so the case is right. This tape came out in 1995. God, that was painful. Now for the slip cases, which I have six total. This is a former rental from Hastings. This is a former rental from Hastings. 
Print date is January 27th, 1996. So this will have the 1986 one home video logo at the beginning. So I guess this one home video logo right here was a print logo that showed up in 1996 for all one home video tapes. Cause it didn't show up until a year later, 1997. So. I bought this tape because it's a flat box. Like, it's kind of cool. I have a couple of Columbia pictures tapes like this as part of my Columbia TriStar collection. And that's no print date right there. But there is one under lid, which is the. Hold on. 38th week of 1986. So this is a later print. I don't know what the sticker is. I doubt it's a rental though, but give me a second. I can't do this with one hand. <clears throat> this tape was resealed when I bought it. This is another rental from Hastings. <clears throat> Print date is May 22nd, 1995. I believe this tape is from 1994. Oh no. It is actually 95. Never mind. Unfortunately, I did discover this. Looks like it's going to be a little damaged at the beginning. I don't know if y'all could see, but... There's like... Stuff right there. Yeah, I probably cannot see it. But I can see it. There's some stuff at the bottom, like, down here somewhere. Oh, y'all can see it now, I think. Right there. Oh, see this stuff at the bottom? We're gonna have to pop in this. I'm gonna have to pop in this tape to see if it'll work. If it's damaged, I'm splicing it. It's not great, but once again, I'll have to pop in the tape to see. Now this table was officially brand new sealed, and this was purchased from a Walmart as uh, seen on a sticker, which honestly I was going to try and place it onto this case, but it got torn, so I had to throw it away altogether. <coughs> Recommend this hit to friends. And two print dates February 18th, 2003, and April 4th, 2003. Yep, this is a reprint tape. <clears throat> the last tape I picked up from Goodwill on Saturday. Did not mean to drop that. February 14th, 1994 is the print date. Last but not least, the VHS tape I got from eBay on Saturday. It's my blank Blues Clues tape. Another Nick Jr. noggin tape as well. 
I've been getting a lot of Blues Clues VHS tapes lately. Blank ones, to be exact. Now, I haven't popped in this tape yet, but... I will have to work tomorrow. Apparently, this tape runs for five hours, from what the seller said, but... I'll see for myself when I watch it. Now for the DVDs. First up, part of three I picked up from Dollar General on August 26th. And they were all brand new, never used. And here they are. And yes, I will be doing my Barney VHS and DVD collection for this year. But it's going to be delayed because... Well, y'all probably know why. As y'all didn't know, I still haven't put out my Teletubbies VHS and DVD collection for this year. That's why it's delayed. I was gonna do my Barney collection after that, but... I don't know. I mean, I never got my 2001 PBS Kids VHS up there with the Teletubbies, so... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Either I do my updated Teletubbies collection without it, or just go ahead and do my Barney collection. I don't know what to do. USPS has been pissing me off for the longest time with that tape. Two whole weeks is how long I'm waiting for that tape to come. Very ridiculous, especially with the coronavirus. It's just getting... <sighs> I don't know anymore. I cannot guarantee you this code will work, but here y'all go. <clears throat> now here is my first of... Nah, actually my second Yo Gabba Gabba DVD. I forgot I also had the live one from Hand Circle. I'm hoping to get some more Yo Gabba Gabba DVD someday. The show was my childhood. Now then, the five DVDs I've gotten from eBay on Saturday. I don't know why the sticker is right here, and I got it. It's covering up the barcode. I'm not sure what that's about. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that's about. <sighs> Next up is a DVD I actually used to have a long time ago. I think I've lost it. Now I have a new copy. I also have this on VHS. Oh, for this one, I have both Nautical Nonsense and Sponge Buddies on their individual VHS tapes and on its Blockbuster exclusive VHS combined under the Antics Volume 1. I forgot how this DVD went because it's been a long time since I had it. Gonna have to pop in this DVD again someday, I think. But in order for me to do that, I'm gonna have to fix it up. Look at this. Now normally I don't watch these SpongeBob SquarePants DVDs. Because I have them as collectibles. But for this one, I'll do it because of that very stuff from the Shanghai episode. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to fix that up soon. I also own this on VHS.
This is a former rental from Bell Video. <coughs> Next up was brand new and sealed. <coughs> now for old copies of this DVD. From what I know it came with a bonus disc. I forgot what it was exactly. But because this is a reprint, as you could probably already tell by this flimsy eagle box case, it doesn't have it. It just has this uh Karate Island disc. But I don't care. And I don't even know why Karate Island is not the first episode on this DVD. It should have been, honestly. But that's how Paramount done it back in the day. <clears throat> and last but not least, the one and only DVD I picked up from Goodwill in Midland, Texas yesterday. This was a used DVD. Excuse me once again, if y'all heard that. I'm really not doing it on purpose. But anyway, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this VHS and DVD update for August 20... I got it logged in, I. August 31st, 2020. And before I go, I have a little something to show y'all. I'm gonna kill the lights for this one. Oh, and this too. Actually, check this out. That is a light bar. See how I can see here, which I have acquired from Walmart a couple days ago. I'm gonna see if I can show you the. No, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna pull my regular lights back on just so y'all can see this. This is the box that it came in. This is perfect for gaming in the night, which is the main reason why I bought this. And it has its remote. And there's also an app for it on right here. I've already, I've already downloaded it on my phone. This one's a little hard to press, but yeah, I'll get the memo on how it works. That's it. Thanks for watching. And that's the end of the video. I will see y'all in the next one. This is Fabian's Media Corner 2001 signing out.